Hey, yeah. Don't forget to hit that like button. Make sure you share. And don't forget to subscribe. Okay. Toodle do. Toodle do. Bye. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, it's Wednesday. Another little check mark we can add to our date book. Happy hump day. But it is 4.53. I just got up 15 minutes ago. Who else gets up and starts making fucking videos? Excuse my language. Starts making damn videos if 15 minutes after you get up. This guy. Let's sleep. Just before I go in and get my mojo, you know? Can't function without the old mojo. Well, I can't. I'm just grumpy. So, glad I'm gonna run into the old loves here and uh, get my morning ritual stuff and get my butt on down the road with this alcohol to go to Tate and Lyle's there in Van Buren, aka Fort Smith, Arkansas. If anyone don't know where that's at, that's the uh, pretty much northwest part of Arkansas. You know. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go see the beautiful Ozarks early this morning. Gotta watch the sun rise over the Ozarks. Beautiful! One of the most beautiful places I think in the country. Going towards Fayetteville and, you know, from in between there and Fort Smith of the hills and mountains, you know, pretty. Alright, let's get this uh, day started. See what type of crazy stuff they got going on this time at Love's. Let's look at the clearance table. 75% off. No. 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 But Love's loves their stuffed animals. Got all the Bluetooth headsets that you could dream of. Look, they get expensive. Well, 400 yeah, that's why it's on sale. And yeah, gifts for your girlfriends. There you go. Let me see something funny. Uh, two for 20 of these hats, not bad. We'll buy them. But look here. The old buck, they, they start coming out with $40 hats, right? They ain't selling shit. So I got marked down to 30 bucks. Thought that was funny. So. Bye bye, loves. As you can tell, my truck is loud, so I'm going to be doing a pre-trip this morning. Sorry about being so loud. I'll try to dial the volume down a little bit while I do my, my checking the lights. Checking the mud flapper dudes. So, get out. Oh, man. That's that good uh, California emission stuff, baby. Hey, lights working. Don't want to step in dog poop, so I better walk over on the curb. So I got my placard. Uh, tires aren't flat. Morning. Doing the same thing you're doing? <laughs> Making sure no one messes with my stuff? <laughs> Lots of work and mud flaps are still there. And my placard. Good morning, I'm still 44 miles away and I'm a 
be about an hour and ten minutes early, an hour early, so I'm going to stop by Love's here in 30 miles, refill up on the old Magic Mojo. Y'all enjoy your morning? It's 6.35. It's only 70 degrees outside. I hope it stays at, but we all know it's probably going to be like 90. I do the do.
right back. Go. Alright. Grab all my paperwork. Uh, they still don't open up basically for they're here, but delivery times are eight to four. So it's seven thirty. So I look over all my paperwork, make sure everything's signed, everything's good. You know. Don't want any eh, gotta wait for the I forgot, I don't know if they I don't know if they need my previouses here. They might. Find out. Got my tank wash. Got my scale ticket. Got my bill lady. Got my C of A. It's all there. Alright, I'll meet you over when I'm hooking up everything and... The sun's out. The sun ball is out and it's already 81. <laughs> got my fire suit on. Gotta make sure you got your right PPE. I'm unloading alcohol in a chemical factory. You'd be stupid not to put a fire suit on. What if there's an explosion? What if there's a fire? Guess what's protected? My arms, legs, my back, my butt. You know, maybe not my face, but I, I got some hair. <laughs> but I'll be alive. You know, that's all that matters. With that, let's get our day started. Sort of. Meanwhile. Besides love, that's where I stopped this morning, but I got better stuff over here, and uh, it's probably cheaper. I can find better deals here. But I got my next margin order, so I'm going back to Joplin, which I got another couple hours, I'll be there. And I gotta drop this dirty trailer off, and then, gotta go to Future Fuels in Batesville, Arkansas, for the morning. So, some more alcohol, ethanol. So, I forgot where Batesville is. Eh, we'll make it there. <laughs> Let's go inside and see what they got the lunch on or something. Right. Damn righty well. Damn righty well. People in Arkansas know who they're voting for. <laughs> we got lunch. What do you have for lunch? There's about one item. Just one. You know, like one piece of chicken, one tater tot, one cheeseburger. But I didn't get a cheeseburger. I didn't even get a sandwich. It's got one round little thing. That's it. What is the one round little thing? Well, it ain't little. It's the biggest boudin ball that I know of. <laughs> That's a boudin ball. trucking world you know what a diaper is I know it ain't what you put on your booty hole a diaper is a big square absorbent sheet we call them diapers in the tanker world trucking industry it's like if you're changing oil you throw it's an absorbent towel it's a disposable gray little thing in the oil fields or people change oil into the truck you don't leave a mess I, I keep forgetting to get them at the dink shop I need to pick some up I was looking at my side box see if I had any diapers <laughs> But yeah, that's my lunch, is that big old boudin ball, that big old boudin ball. I'm sweating now because it's getting hot outside. So, let's get out of this uh, little truck stop in Ozark Mountain. Get on our way down the road. Springfield Grocers are here. That's where I live. We 
gonna do a U turn right in front of me? No. All right, let's go look at this beauty, beautiful, beautiful scenery in the Ozark Mountains. Up comes the right, up comes the left. Got booty out there. post trip while we drop this so we make sure everything's uh -huh, it's still attached right oh I don't want to get in trouble grab my gloves oh I turn on my lights gotta make sure the lights are working you know ah. all right that light's working <sighs> these lights are working gotta let the air out of my trailer tires are good no leaks lights working Lights working, no damage, mud flaps there, no damage, it's a one little dent I see over there, do -do -do, tires are good, like this, look like someone hit it with a hammer, kadunk, kadunk, double kadunker, alright, lights working, good to go, drop it, and we'll go get the new one, trip here on this new trailer, 5402, alright, here we, we got a light working, and uh, nope, I thought I was picking up alcohol because it said something about fuels. Clampy's alive for clamps. But it's yellow grease. I think it's a uh, chicken fat. It said yellow grease, animal nutrition, so. And I already dollied up, so I already did like my pre trip and I'm just going over it in the video. <laughs> there in. Mud flaps are good. No damage down the side of the trailer. Uh, somebody's cleaning the back of that door. I cleaned the trailer and they forgot the door. How do you forget the door? We clean everything else. I think that's not dirt. No, it's not dirt. That's stained. Huh. Probably acid. Someone probably set a bucket up there. Probably had some acid. It probably dumped over. You know, they say stainless don't supposed to. Yeah, stainless can still stain. Working. Lights are working. Make sure to go up top. Make sure everything is uh, tightened up top. So, bear with me for one second. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Nothing looks like it's been leaking up here, but... You know what? You don't ever trust anyone. You just... You always want to double check that stuff. Looks like it's tight. Looks like that's tight enough. It's tight. It's all tight. It's good. All right. Let's uh, do all the things we need to get done and we got it. <laughs>
Springs. Got maybe a couple hours of drive in the morning to get to my stop. Then I gotta freaking go all the way. Two hours and 49 minutes of remaining drive time. Right, cool. Thank you. Thanks for reminding me. Yay. I think I go all the way back to Joplin, drop off the dirty trail, and then run back home. So I'll go right past my house. Bye, house! I'll be back in two hours. Or two and a half hours. Yeah, but it is. You pay by hours. It's I call it bonus hours, right? You know? You could just go straight home, but, you know, I'd be out two and a half hours if I just went straight home. You know? So, uh, hope you had a good hump day. And, uh, eh, the sun's coming out. And, uh, hopefully your day went as planned as you wanted it to, or close enough. Mine did. Tomorrow's gonna be a pretty much full busy day before I go home. And gotta go see the doc Friday to get extension on CDL. Telling you, the CPAP stuff is a pain in the butt. It's like last night I was sleeping, and uh, I didn't know that the machine turned off. Well, I can't have that happen, especially when I gotta go back into the doctor's. I need certain amount of hours. I mean, that's happened so many times. It's like they expect you to sleep like 10 hours a day. I can't do that. I don't have enough time. <laughs> I literally don't have enough time. So, all right, well, see you tomorrow. Gotta run to uh, Batesville. I think it's Batesville, Arkansas, and then back to Joplin, and then home. For that, I love you. Jesus Christ loves you. I bid adieu. Ciao. Tschüss. Abidazan. Goodbye. Konnichiwa. Get out of here.